Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Srivastav and today I am discussing how we can handle null while aggregation. Okay, so let's understand the problem here. Let's say we have a table called product sales in which we have columns like product ID and sale amount. So in sale amount you can see we have values like 100, 200, null and 300. Okay, so it's a best practice while we are writing any SQL query and whenever we have to perform any mathematical calculation on any column we should always handle nulls okay and if we don't the result will not come correct okay so let's discuss first what exactly the problem we will be facing if we don't handle the nulls and later on we will discuss how we should uh, how we can handle that okay so let's quickly jump on SQL and see what is the problem okay now let me execute one query select one plus one okay so if we execute it we will get two as output right but as soon as I add null to it right what will be the output it is giving me null correct so whenever we have nulls in the column and we ha we know that we have to perform the aggregate functions or some mathematical calculation on that column which it's it, uh, it is preferable to handle null every time okay now this was for sum now let's discuss the same problem with average okay so in average what will happen here in this data you can see we have the total uh, uh, in the sale amount the total sum is coming to be 100 plus 200 300 and 300 plus 300 600 right and 600 should be divided by 4 right so this is the average correct so average is like uh, total uh, sum of the sale amount divided by total number right so total sum is 600 and total number is 4 so ideally the average should be 600 divided by 4 and that should be um, uh, 150 right now let's see what the SQL server is giving us okay select AVG sale amount from product sales right see it is giving 200 and the reason why it is giving 200 is it is dividing 600 by 3 rows uh, 3 right and it is ignoring row number 3 because it is having null right but this is not the correct average what we are expecting correct it should be like 600 divided by 4 right so that this null should not be ignored here okay so let's talk about the resolution so how we can handle this so we have a function called colas okay and this will simply handle nulls okay and it will give us the correct output okay as average sale okay also when we are we have seen that in case of sum also it is giving us uh, null only right when we are performing sum so we should handle uh, uh, null in case of sum as well right cool as sale amount zero as total sum okay so now let's execute this and see what is the exact output we are getting perfect right so the average should be 150 and total sum is 600 right hope you like the video please uh, share among your friends and thanks for watching video thank you so much